Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to take a look at the little app that lets you test the speed of your network or internet connection. Basically, the internet connection, you know, the speed we have, is very different on some cases from what the ISP tells us. So, you know, some internet service providers will say, oh, you're at 50 megabits download. But when you test it, you're at 20, 30. You know, not all connections are equal. They're not always the same depending on the time of day. But you can actually use a nice little app in Windows 10 to test this. Go into your Windows Store. On the upper right, simply type Network Speed. And you'll see that green icon says Network Speed Test. It's a free app. All you have to do is click the Install button on the left side. And once it's installed, it's very nice because it has, it's simple to use, first of all, and it has clear information about, you know, the speed and what you have. So, for example, you click the Start button, and it's going to start, you know, checking out the download speed, and then it checks the Outlook, the uh, um, upload speed, sorry. So, on the right side, you got a history. So, every time you test the speed, it gives you a history of the speeds that you get. For example, my connection is a 30 megabit download connection and a 10 megabit upload connection. I've noticed with this app that, you know, I don't often get to that connection speed. I'm often at 20, 25. Now, one thing for sure is that if you're on Wi-Fi, remember that if you're a little far away from your router, you will see that the speed tends to go down. So if you're on Wi-Fi, the best way to do this test is to really get close to your router and do it very close to the router. Even better, if you can hook up directly to the modem, then you'll know your real speed because the speed of a connected uh, computer is closer to the reality of the real speed than it is on Wi-Fi. You know, Wi-Fi has interference, all sorts of little things that can make it go slower. The information it gives out, three simple numbers. Network delay in milliseconds, that's the time it took for the ping or for that, um, you know, that when you asked for that speed test, how long it took for the connection to uh, actually happen. You want this as low as possible. 31 mega, uh, milliseconds like here is not bad at all. Uh, you can have typically, you know, 10, 20, 30 milliseconds. Above 100 means that you have a little something connection issue there's a delay that is bigger download speed and megabits per second and upload speed and megabits per second and you can compare that to your own internet service providers connection speed and see if it's really you know uh, a good connection speed or not and you know is it close to the reality of what the isp is supposed to give you so it's very easy it has all the information also about the Wi-Fi connection, your Wi-Fi, and the name of your Wi-Fi access. It will uh, give you the status of internet connection, the host name, which is your computer, uh, the access points, um, BSSID, authentication, what is the type of authentication and encryption used. You have the history of your tests on the right side. And finally, You've got a little menu on the upper left. In the settings, you have options. The options are to uh, warn you if you use a metered connection, there's going to warn you that it's going to use data because it does use data to make the test. So it warns you, and that's nice. That switch is on by default, meaning if you're in a network connection, uh, in a um, metered connection, that is, you will be warned that you are using a metered connection to do the test. You can also clear the history here if you want to. So this is simple to use, nice, works fine, and gives you an accurate test of the speed of network or internet uh, on your PC. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe, you'll be informed when the videos are online. If you have comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. We'll try to help you if we can. And uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. And thank you so much for following us on this channel.